Hello everyone, I'm River Fox and welcome to the channel. And today we are playing our grounded and we've got another help video for you. Uh, this is how to make your ant armor. Now, first things first, as long as you have got a workbench, then you are gonna need to kill some ants. And you're gonna need to kill quite a few of them. Um, not only the worker ants, but also some soldier ants as well. Now, I don't recommend killing ants when there are lots and lots of them like this. I would wait until you do find some lonely ants on their own. If you do try and attack one of those single ants, then all of them are going to come after you and attack you. So you need to try and find some that are on their own and away from everyone else. Okay, so I have found an ant on its own. And these these ants are relatively easy to, to kill. And these ones are quite easy. You can normally get these without any da uh, damage to you at all. So once you do kill an ant, if you collect the parts that come up, like we've got two ant parts there, and you'll need to go and analyze them just so that it will fetch up the abilities to, uh, to do it. But you come over to your analyze station and you should be able to analyze some ant parts there. And once that's done, you should then be able to go in to your workbench and you will then be able to look at your ant items. So this is your ant armor. You will have a helmet, arm guards and knee guards. And of course, you will need various different bits of materials in order to make all of the parts of this. Now, most of them are really easy for you to get. The ant heads and the ant parts, you can get those from any of those little worker ants, which we had just now. The mite fuzz, I'm gonna go in and show you where to get that the best place in a moment. The acid gland, now you will need to kill a soldier ant or two for that. And you're gonna find them mainly towards or near the ant hills. Sometimes and rarely they can be out wandering, but not very often. You will mainly find them at the ant hill. So when you go to the ant hill, you are going to need to try and coax one outside so that it's not going to be in a big massive horde because the the anthill which i'm going to take you over to it now is over this direction and there will be a lot of ants in there now you're better off having a torch to go in there because once you do get a certain way in it's going to get really really dark now these these little um, worker ants they're not going to hurt you at all unless you go and attack them now that that is a soldier ant and you're going to want to kill some of these it's a good idea to try and block on them as well when when they do um go to attack you but this one i think somehow we've managed to get Luckily, the other ant there had a piece in his mouth, so, and I didn't manage to block that one. There we go, so we got that one. Okay, so we should get some parts from that. We got some mandibles, actually. I may be dead in a minute, but see if we can kill this one off as well. There we go, so we got some more parts from that. And actually I got killed <laughs> but as I say it is it is difficult you are gonna need to to kill a few of the ants in order to get all of the parts now everything is going to be in the backpack back over there so let me get back over there and we'll try and get the rest of the parts okay I did manage to get my um, my ant parts back and we actually or well, my backpack should I say we actually have another ant here so let's see if we can like coax him to come over this way because we need him to to come away from the other ants otherwise they're all 
going to come after us. But he seems more interested in the ladybird at the moment. I mean, sometimes if there is other animals attacking each other, it can be worthwhile just hanging back because the other animals might actually kill them for you. And it can save you a lot of time and effort. I know there's a lot of ants here, but we got one here. Can we get him? Can we coax him up? No. Our ladybird is doing a blooming good job of all the ants, mind. Doing a really good job. I don't know whether the ants are kind of taking over the poor ladybird at the moment. Hey there, buddy. But we're not worried about these little mini ones at the moment. We can get lots of different parts from these after. Well, where's where's that big where's that big ant? He's over here. He's going after a bug at the moment. I want to follow him because if he gets far enough away, I might be able to get him. Okay, he should be far enough away now. Now he's going to change now and start attacking us. There we go. Right. So we got him and we got some acid glands from it as well. Hello, little ladybird. Awesome things they are. Right. So that is that is your acid glands and your ant parts. Now, actually, I could probably just pop back over here. I think our little ladybird is still fighting away at all these ants. There's no more big ants here. So I've got all these parts that I can, like, get for free pretty much look at it all because he's he's getting them all and the ladybug hasn't taken that much damage here we go i think i should be i think i should probably be enough let's have a look where's our workbench gear Okay, we got loads and loads and loads of ant parts and everything. So the only other things that you are going to need now in order to get your ant armor, poor ladybird, um, is your mite fuzz. Now, these are really easy to get. So if you, if you come back over to where the analyze station is, over here, which is this spot, and from here then, if you point towards this direction and go through underneath this leaf, now you might want to have the um, axe out for this, and head just left of these mushrooms up here, and you will see this, um, this cable, which is um, electric and, and everything coming out of it. So follow along here and you will see lots of these... Oh more ants it's all right um lots of these little red bugs now they won't all be sitting there like this they they might um they might try attacking you but you can get mite fuzz from there, from these and all you need to do is kill kill a few of these i mean i'm quite low so i mean i might still die myself but just try and kill a few of these and you can get some, some mite fuzz from them, which you will then use for your armor. Get this one as well, and then there we go. Right, so that will do. So let's um, let's head back over this way, back to our analyze station and our workbench. Go this way. I say early on, don't worry too much about dying. You are going to die a lot in the early stages of this game. So don't don't panic too much. You can always go back for your loot. You can always get things that way. Right. So once you've got all of those things, when you go back to it, then you are then going to be able to craft all of these items. I need some woven fiber just to be able to craft this one. 
and you can also make your arm guards as well which you can equip and you can do the knee guards as well which you can then equip but there we go that is the ant armor i do hope you do find this video useful if you do don't forget to hit that like down below smash that subscribe before you go if you turn on the notification bell you will always get updated of all my content when it comes out i do stream over on twitch quite regularly now as well with grounded so do come and check me out if you can but until the next time i hope you have a lovely day and stay safe my friends